If you're running out of buttons with your Stream Deck, this could be the best video you've ever watched on YouTube. An XL obviously has a lot more buttons, but if you have a 6 key or 15 key like I do, so I've got a 15 key here on this broadcasting computer and an XL here on this computer, you may need the folder function to help you go between these items and to maximize your real estate on your Stream Deck. Let me show you exactly what that is. So really quick, couple prerequisites here in order to do this tutorial with me. You need to at least have a Stream Deck, right? 6 key, 15 key, or 32 key. Links in the description, affiliate links below. If you don't already have a Stream Deck, you need to have downloaded the Stream Deck software by Googling Stream Deck software, going to the official Elgato uh, download page, installing and updating the firmware. If anything I just said does not make sense to you, that's okay. I've got a link below to the playlist for all my Stream Deck tutorials where I explain all that basic prerequisite setup, okay? So the thing you're gonna wanna do with your folders to save room is go to the Stream Deck functions here within the Stream Deck software and then click the Create Folder button. Now it's kind of confusing at first, but let me just walk you through it. So let's say uh, you just drag in a folder here, drag it up to the top, and then you're gonna call this folder whatever you want the things in that folder to be called. So for example, let's say you have a bunch of sound effects that you wanna play during your live streams. Just an example here. You guys can follow along with me, just to understand the concept. Name your folder, whatever that is. And so when you click that button to go into that folder on your Stream Deck, which I'm clicking now, it brings up a whole new set of Stream Deck buttons that are available within that folder. And then there's the button, the up arrow button right up here in the corner, which you can name. And if you want to go back to, let's say, home, which is your main buttons, you can name that button up there in the top home. It allows you to go between your main functions on your Stream Deck and some very specific ones that are in a folder. So let me just break this down for you and let's just illustrate this and just kind of show in a real life example, if you will, so you can understand how this functionality works. So let's say we're currently in the home space right now, your main Stream Deck setup. And in that you may want, let's say a record button in the corner, record. Uh, you may want, uh, you know, a button to go to one of your scenes there. I'm just gonna drag in a scene button. This is just an example. And we'll go to scene number one there. And then you may want a button to go to scene number two. It's just just an example for today, all right? Perfect, great. Scene number one, scene number two, and record. Awesome. Then within your sound section, so we'll go ahead and hit the sound button, you'll want to play some sound effects there. So maybe you wanna to switch to this folder to do that. So we're gonna drag in, drag in some soundboard. Once again, this is just for the purposes of the tutorial. I'm just gonna grab a sound effect here, sound effect one. There we go, great. So now on our stream deck, theoretically, follow along with me, what you can do in your main home screen is you can fire up your recording, just as an example, right? So I'll hit the record button on my Stream Deck, as you can see. I'm gonna go to scene two on my Stream Deck. You can see it's working, right? I'm using all my main buttons I would use on my Stream Deck here to do normal stuff. Then when it's time for me to play sound effects, then I can hit the sound folder button. This is the folder function that we're talking about here, the folder button right up here, wherever you put it on your Stream Deck. And when you hit that, you will go to an entirely new set of options in your Stream Deck to do whatever you're gonna do. You're still recording, you're still on that scene, as you can see behind me, but you can now control new things within this folder. So now, maybe because I wanna play a sound effect, I'm gonna play the song by hitting that sound effect button while I'm here. And then as soon as I'm done with my sound effect stuff, whatever I'm doing, I can turn that off, and then I can go back to the home screen by clicking the home button, and go back to all those functions I was at before, click of the button and boom, there it is. All those new functions right over there. Isn't that freaking great? So you can basically expand the uh, size of your stream deck, if you will, to way bigger than it currently is. And you can put folders within folders if you want. So if you have a stream deck XL or a stream deck 15 key, you can reserve a certain number of buttons, just for example, just to go into folders and other functions. If you have a stream deck mini, you may very well wanna use one of these folders in one of the top keys in your mini, so you can essentially close to double the size of the real estate with your Stream Deck. Folders allow that to be possible. You can do folders within folders within folders. Quick warning though, if you delete a folder, everything in there is gone. So if I click this folder and I click delete, all of those functions inside of there are just disappeared forever, okay? <laughs> so that you can't recover them. So be very careful if you do that. Uh, be very careful with deleting a folder, especially if you program a bunch of different things in there. And so for that, 
you'll want to go ahead and create a new profile just to make sure you don't lose those functions. Pretty awesome, right? Just doubled and tripled your real estate with your Stream Deck. You're welcome. So if any of you guys have any uh, more advanced stuff you want me to help you with, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching for online broadcasters, creators, streamers, influencers, all on my website, awalldigital.com. Link in the description below if you want to go. Just scroll down, pick your day, pick your time, tell me your challenges, your goals, what you're trying to achieve in online broadcasting, and boom, I'm on a one-on-one -on -one video call with you as soon as you pay. There you go, and I'm helping you out. I've been doing this for a living for the last 10 years, and I'm here to help you as well. Have fun with your stream deck. Enjoy Double of the Real Estate. See you in the next one.